welcome to Facebook for your chapter. The following video will help you to create a Facebook page to promote your local HPNA activities. Let's get started. The chapter news area of the HPNA website will be moved in the coming months. HPNA will now include links to local chapter and provisional group Facebook pages. Some of you may ask, why Facebook? Facebook pages get a lot of search engine respect. Even big businesses take them seriously, as they do with their own corporate websites. There has never been a better time to get your own local chapter or group going with a Facebook page. Make it a chapter and group priority in the coming months to tap into the massive Facebook population to get noticed, get members, and also to get attention. An HPNA Facebook page can provide you an opportunity to, to give links to local members and also all the features that were found in the chapter news pages can be found on Facebook including linking to flyers as well as local news and pictures. The local Facebook page will also give you faster distribution and more control of your information in a timely manner. So, let's take a closer look at the Facebook page. A Facebook page, sometimes referred to as a fan page, is a single page that you can create off of the Facebook.com domain for anything that you want, including your local chapter and provisional group. Think of it as a one-page meeting place with information, links, a message box forum, or anything else that you want to talk about regarding your local chapter and provisional group. Best yet, anyone can create them. All you need is a Facebook account. These days, it seems like everyone and everything important, famous or notable, has one, from President Obama to Coca-Cola and Lady Gaga. So isn't it time your provisional group or chapter has one? The obvious question is, how do I get one for my chapter or group? That is what this resource is all about. Facebook pages are important for a few other reasons. They've been showing up high in search engine positions. Also, you can get unlimited fans to your Facebook page. And the page can also be viewed by non-Facebook users in search engines and other resources on the web. So unless you want to create a social networking site or website the hard way, a Facebook page is almost like a specialized social networking tool that you can use at any time. Let's go ahead and get started with the creation of your Facebook page. It is important to note that you will need a Facebook account in order to create your local chapter and provisional group Facebook page. Getting started is as easy as actually finding the Facebook section in order to create your page. At first it can be confusing to remember how to find Facebook pages. Facebook changes its appearance on a regular basis and things get renamed or moved around quite often. The Facebook page icon looks like a little orange flag. It should be a default icon on the left hand side of your front page within Facebook. With the new design and layout in April 2011, Facebook pages now has its own dedicated section within Facebook and is no longer lumped in with Facebook groups and ads. So the first step is to click on the orange flag. In the spring of 2011, Facebook made this helpful Facebook page dashboard. Since you are a page newbie, it will probably look pretty barren in this location of Facebook, but it will eventually fill up with the pages you create, as well as your likes, activities, and statistics. Each page will also show the number of notifications or fan posts that have been made since you've last visited them. Best yet, this is where you can create a new Facebook page. So go ahead and click the button at the upper right hand portion of the screen titled create a page. At this point you can go ahead and pick one of these six categories for your new page. When you do the image fills up and reveals a drop down box where you can choose something very specific about that category. For our purposes you will want to choose company, organization, or institution category. Once you found this category you can type out the name for your page. Be extremely careful in naming your page as it is permanent and will be seen within the actual URL of your Facebook page. And now comes the fun part. 
and you get to modify your own Facebook page. Technically speaking, you own your very own Facebook page. As you can see, it's bland and needs some serious modifications. Let's move to the next section for customization of your local chapter or provisional group page. The image found on this slide shows a typical Facebook page. In this resource, we'll go over each part and what it means to you as a Facebook page administrator. While everything looks simple enough, there are a lot of things you'll really need to know about each section of your page. Using the numbers on this screenshot, here are the sections found within this guide. Profile picture, number one. This picture is a permanent fixture on the upper left hand corner of your page. It also represents you whenever you post information or links on the page. Number two, the about section. This small area allows you to include a very brief description of what your page is about and should be used as a greeting for brand new visitors to your page. Number three, the like showcase. This often overlooked area is actually a big way to promote your other pages. Number four, page title and category. Your page is as good as what it's named. Once you reach a certain number of users, it is permanent. The category, however, can be edited at any time. Number five, the page body. This is the main event of your page. This is where you post new information about your local chapter or provisional group, or have calls to action, or invitations to events, or where you would like page fans to respond to them. This is a great way to showcase your individual chapter or group. And number six, the administrative links. As a page admin, only you can see everything that's going on in this region. This is where you'll be able to edit how and what your page displays. Let's take a closer look at each section. Number one, the profile picture, the Facebook page's face. Your Facebook page picture is extremely important. Think of it this way. It's the image representation of your page and everything in it. When people search Facebook and look for pages, one of the first things that will attract their eyeballs is the page icon you choose. If your chapter or group has a logo, this is where you want to display it. If your chapter or group does not have a logo yet, a good alternative is a picture that represents the area within your chapter or group. Facebook page images are displayed at 120 by 120 pixels and will also generate a miniature 50 by 50 pixel version, the mini version that appears next to every post or reply you make on the page and also show it up in Facebook page results. The About box. Write one or two sentences and a link to summarize the page. The little About box you see below your Facebook page profile picture is what you'll need to give first-time visitors the scoop on what your entire page is about, your local or chapter group. Make sure it's short and sweet. With the new changes Facebook made in early 2011, a few things changed. First of all, this area is invisible unless you edit your page's basic information. You will want to go to Edit Page and Basic Information. This is where you can input information about your chapter or provisional group. Secondly, Facebook no longer auto-converts a typed out hyperlink into a backline like it used to. Take a look at the example on the slide. I've included a short description of what the Facebook page is about in one sentence. When you're done typing about your chapter provisional group in this area, click Save Changes button and you're done. The Likes List. This is how to associate your page with others on Facebook. Basically, any updates to your chapter or provisional group page will be automatically forwarded to all those that have liked your page. For this reason, we encourage you to have your local chapter and provisional group members like your chapter page within Facebook in order to keep up to date with news and information from the chapter or group. If a local member does not have a Facebook account, you can direct them to your chapter and group specific URL, which was provided to you during the registration process of your Facebook page. And again, the likes button would enable anyone to follow news and information from your local chapter or group. As previously discussed, 
changing the name on your Facebook is a problem once you've already saved it. Facebook remedied this kind of. If and only if you have a 100 fans or less, you're now able to edit the name of your Facebook page by clicking its edit page link, clicking the basic information tab, and changing its name in the name field. Note that this only changes the name on the Facebook page, which is also called the title since it appears on the top of the page and in every post you make. It does not change the page's URL. If you've already set your URL, that's permanent. As for your page category, you can always edit this by simply clicking the Edit Info into the category of your page, which is located directly under the title at the top of the page. Now it's time to have some fun with number five, the Facebook page body area. Get the conversation started with some content. You can add anything you want to your Facebook page. Copy and paste a, maybe a YouTube video or simply write something about your chapter or provisional group. You can also paste a URL from an outside website. Maybe it's your venue host for the next upcoming meeting or even your chapter website. Or you can type whatever you want about your chapter or provisional group. When you post something on your page, it is available to every single person who is a fan of that page. Therefore, make sure your spelling is correct and that everything looks the way you want it to look and is accurate. Also note that people will be able to comment on whatever you're posting which is great for communication within your chapter or group. Facebook page administration links. Only you can see them. Finally, the last major part of your Facebook page is this set of administrative links. They're on the top right hand sidebar of your page. Here's what each of these links do. Use Facebook page as. This strange new feature lets you change roles on Facebook. Click it and you will no longer post or interact as yourself, but your Facebook page, even off your page and on Facebook.com itself. In other words, your post will use your Facebook page name and avatar. You can also change back to yourself if, if you select it. Notifications. These are basically snippets of new events that have happened on your page at the action of your fans. The purpose is to provide you a quick way for you to see what new interactions were made since you last visited the site. Promote with an ad. This takes you to Facebook ads, a pay per click program that you can opt into. View insights. Think of this as your Google Analytics of your Facebook page. Here you'll get a bunch of metric counters, charts, and other things that can tell you how your page is performing as the time goes on and suggest to friends. This allows you, the individual, to suggest to your friends to like your Facebook page. Click it and you'll get a dialog box where you can pick and choose which Facebook friends to suggest it to. This is a great opportunity to suggest the Facebook page to your local chapter members and group. On the following slide you will see an excellent example of a completed Facebook page. It comes to you from the South Carolina Coastal Chapter of HPNA. As you can see from the page, there's recent news and information that has been posted by the page administrator. Also, there's a cover photo of a recent meeting that took place within the chapter and other pertinent information for local members to enjoy. After you create your Facebook page, here are some final tips that you might find useful. Remember to update your page often with news and information from your local chapter or group. And remember that any information that you do publish goes directly into the news stream for each person that has liked your chapter page. Also look to engage your local members with your posts and information. And be sure to use the Insights dashboard to better understand who is viewing your information and how often. It is also important to make your Facebook page unique. You should have some fun with your Facebook page. You can put interesting facts about the chapter, or upcoming speakers, and post upcoming meeting, event times, and dates. Also, another great idea is to include voting links for active members who participate in local elections as well. The level of activity of your local chapter page is also very important. You do not want to post too often 
to where you clutter an individual's Facebook news stream. And you do not want to post too little where people forget that there is a chapter Facebook page. The HPA National Office suggests one to two posts per week in order to have a healthy engagement of your local members. Also be sure to talk back, answer comments or questions that come onto the page from local members and even the general public as well. And also be sure to include links to other media such as the HPA National Office, any local healthcare links, and also national news affecting hospice and palliative nursing. This concludes today's presentation, Facebook and your chapter. Once again, and as a reminder, the National Office always offers technical support for its local chapters and provisional groups. We have extensive experience with setting up Facebook accounts and pages. We would be happy to answer any questions that you do have. As a reminder, you will need a Facebook account in order to set up your local chapter and provisional group page. Also, individuals that do not have a Facebook account can still view the information via a dedicated URL web address that will be provided to you during the Facebook registration process. The main point we want to convey to you is to have fun and connect with your local members via Facebook for news and information regarding your local chapter. We hope you have fun and enjoy Facebook as a news and information source for your local chapter.